Everyone is going to die someday. But do you believe in the Grim Reaper? Welcome to another episode of Connect Paranormal. Death is a phenomenon that all cultures grapple with, and as a result, personifications of death have emerged throughout history to help humans conceptualize this inevitability. One such iconic personification that has transcended its cultural and historical boundaries is the Grim Reaper. While its skeletal image cloaked in dark robes has become synonymous with the end of life, its origin and development over time reveal layers of history, culture, and collective psychology. The Grim Reaper is one of the most enduring symbolic figures in human culture, remaining iconic and instantly recognizable across centuries. In most depictions, the Grim Reaper appears as a tall, skeletal figure shrouded in a dark hooded cloak and wielding a long scythe. This fearsome personification of death has origins dating back to medieval times and continues to loom large in modern media and pop culture. The continued presence of the Grim Reaper in cultural works and representations is a testament to the powerful and persistent symbolic nature of the figure as an allegorical personification of mortality. The Grim Reaper is generally depicted as a skeletal figure, draped in a flowing black cloak with a hood, often carrying a scythe. The skeletal visage symbolizes the decay and finality of death, while the scythe, an instrument traditionally used to reap crops, metaphorically represents the act of reaping souls. The black cloak, void of color and vibrancy, underscores the sorrow and darkness associated with dying. The representation of death as a sentient being has existed across cultures for millennia. The genesis of the Grim Reaper can be traced back to ancient civilizations. Ancient Greeks, for instance, had Thanatos, a god of death, often portrayed as a young man or a winged, bearded older male but not skeletal. Norse mythology brought forth the Valkyries, who decided who would die in battle and then guide their souls. However, the recognizable figure of the Grim Reaper emerged in Europe during the late Middle Ages. During the times of the Black Death in Europe, when the modern image of the Grim Reaper began to take shape. This was a period marked by massive death tolls, and the image of a harvester, reaping, soul seemed fitting. As the Black Death ravaged populations, the idea of death as an animate force grew more tangible and frightening. Artworks of the era depicted death personified as a skeletal figure, often shrouded in wielding a scythe or other harvesting implement. This nascent image of the gruesome reaper developed more nuances over the centuries. Artists like Durer later gave death enigmatic faces and complex expressions that hinted at personalities and motives. Though interpretations varied, common elements like the scythe and skeletal appearance coalesced into the standardized modern representation. By the 19th and 20th centuries, the image of the grim reaper was cemented in societal consciousness. Literary works like Percival Lee's satirical The Comic Latin Grammar solidified the Reaper as a cultural symbol of mortality. Later fictional works such as Oscar Wilde's The Fisherman and His Soul portrayed the Grim Reaper specifically as a harbinger of death. As books and news became mass media, the visual iconography similarly spread. Devices like post-mortem photography frequently included Reaper symbolism, further standardizing the motif. Through both highbrow and popular cultural works across artistic mediums, the Grim Reaper became an embedded symbolic fixture. Today, the Grim Reaper maintains its position as a potent symbol of death, but its representation has diversified. In popular culture, it appears in movies, TV shows, literature, and even in festive occasions like Halloween. Its usage varies from the serious to the satirical. For example, in public health campaigns, the Grim Reaper has been utilized to highlight the seriousness of certain diseases or risky behaviors. On a lighter note, the Reaper is sometimes personified as a character who might be comically avoiding its duties or facing existential questions about its role. Some examples, like Discworld's death, intentionally subvert the sinister expectations of the figure. The Reaper in the Bill and Ted franchise is a flawed character used for humor to advance plot narratives. However, even morose portrayals are so culturally codified that they take on an entertaining quality due to sheer icon familiarity. The ubiquity of the skeletal personification has diluted the direct ominousness of the symbol but reinforced its allegorical meaning. As a horror genre fixture, the Reaper makes frequent film appearances, such as in The Seventh Seal, Hellboy 2, and the Final Destination franchise. The Reaper also appears in children's cartoons like Billy and Mandy and in comedic TV shows like Family Guy. 
The personification serves as a shorthand symbol which creators can easily incorporate to signal themes of death and mortality. Moreover, in contemporary art and fashion, the Grim Reaper can be used symbolically to address themes of time, finality, or the ephemeral nature of life. Tattoos of the Reaper might, for some, be a reminder of the transitory nature of life, pushing them to cherish each moment. Emerging from medieval folklore, the Grim Reaper reached standard iconic form and pervaded art and media over centuries. Now deeply embedded in symbolic cultural vocabulary, the robed skeleton with a scythe stands as universally recognizable shorthand for death itself. This reveals the success of the Grim Reaper as an allegorical anthropomorphic personification. Modern creators rely on and play with audiences' familiarity to easily evoke inherent associated themes. Despite varied interpretations, the core visual signifiers and symbolic meaning remain intact. The enduring legacy and flexibility of representations show that the Grim Reaper remains an enduring personification of man's mortality. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to Connect Paranormal. This will allow us to make more videos.